Also at this hour, Kyiv has accused Tehran of supplying kamikaze drones to Moscow, which was used to attack the energy and infrastructure sites across Ukraine. Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba has submitted a proposal to sever diplomatic ties with Iran, pointing out that in the past Ukraine never took an anti-Iranian stance. Kuleba has stressed on how Ukraine will now officially turn to Israel for support. According to reports, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba will be holding a telephonic conversation with Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid. This comes after Ukraine asked Israel for immediate air defense assistance, which had been rejected by Israel in the past. Since the early days of the Ukraine war, Ukrainian officials have asked Israel to send its missile defense systems, but Israel has repeatedly rebuffed Kyiv's requests. However, with a phone call scheduled between the Ukrainian foreign minister and the Israeli prime minister, it remains to be seen whether Israel's stance changes or not. Our correspondent Jody Cohen is joining us live from Ranana for more on this latest update. Hi Jody, Ukraine is now trailing uh, their eyes on Israel for armed support. Are there any reaction from Israel following Kuleba's call to ban Iran for its alleged, you know, provision of missiles to Russia? Right, so Israel's in a tricky situation. On the one hand, Prime Minister Lapid has expressed support for Ukraine and also believes that Iran poses an existential threat to Israel. So one might assume that this would mean Israel would do anything to support Ukraine, including providing weapons. On the other hand, because of that existential threat, there's a, a concern that Israel's weapons could end up in Iran's hands if it's sent abroad, and B, that Israel believes it needs to balance its support for Ukraine with relations with Russia. Now, remember that former Russian Prime Minister Medvedev suggested that Israel providing weapons to Ukraine would be Russia's red line. And Russia's in control of Syrian airspace, and Israel coordinates with Russia to stop Iran and weapons from getting closer to its border there, so it's a key concern. As it stands, tensions have increased between Israel and Russia over Lapid's criticism of the invasion and Israeli support for Ukraine. And commentators believe that Israel has gone as far as it will or it feels that it can go under the current circumstances. Jordi, Minister Kuleba is expected to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Lapid on Thursday to formally request air defense support. Do you think that is likely to change anything? Right, so Israel's likely to come under increasing pressure. For example, as you mentioned, there's this call on Thursday between Lapid and Kuleba. There have been repeated calls from President Zelensky for Israel, and it should be noted for other countries as well, to provide missile defense support to Ukraine. We also know that President Herzog and President Biden are going to be meeting, and Ukraine is likely to be on the agenda there as well. Remember also that there are elections coming up, and whoever will be prime minister, whether it's Lapid or defense minister, Minister Gantz or former PM Netanyahu, um, they've all made comments suggesting that they're all in alignment on this issue, saying that sources in Ukraine have expressed surprise that there's this call on Thursday with the elections coming up, and perhaps this could be an indication that maybe Lapid is going to be offering something further to the Ukraine, but commentators believe that it's not likely to be the provision of weapons. We on correspondent Jody Cohen, thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.